we thought we'd just take a quick look at the Cartier style it looks. So, we'll no doubt find some rather rare marks here. 1956 Packard Caribbean Convertible. Look at the length of these classic American beasts. Good old caddy. Oh, the body lines. White wool tires. This collection is uh, it's quite mind-blowing every year. You get everything from a 2CV through to a Plymouth Fury. And then Maseratis. Exactly, Joseph, I thought you would. Classic air-cooled as well, and little Fiat 500 as well. 1959. Very early 2CV as well. Lancia Stratos, near a Mini. <laughs> Only at Goodwood. A Renault 4, and then Lotus Esprit. Spy You Love Me edition by the looks of it. Maserati as well. Some real vintage models as well. Looks like there are actually be some veterans as well. As you can see, two boat tails, three boat tails. And a, a 61. Thank you, Joseph. 3.8 series Roadster Jaguar E type, so 1961. Yeah, a few E types. Lightweight coupe. A bit different without the chrome bumpers. Nineteen twenty six Emil Car Italiana. That <laughs> wouldn't surprise me, Joseph. I think a lot of these are worth a fortune, as you well know from when you saw it last year. Let's have a look at this. I love those wheels. It's just simple yet elegant. And that's the thing. These are loved cars that, well, you could see like the water damage and the dials and things like that. You just can't get over the, um, Hill climb behind. Oh, nice backfire there. <gasps> the Maserati Bora. I'm not surprised to be honest. You don't really see them, do you? Except in shows. So let's move up. <laughs> Countach. <sighs> and a Ferrari. Is it a GTO? Is it? 288 or some such thing. Let's find out. 365 GT4. Uh, yeah, that's exactly my thoughts. The fact that you've got a classic Mini next to a Countach. Look at this. Very cannonball run. And no rear spoiler. Bit easier to reverse. I mean, granted, not the easiest car to reverse at all. So the LP400 from 1975. Periscopo. 
transit. In case you're wondering, Kentash means <gasps> shock or which is how the guy felt when he first saw the car. And I can't remember if that was Ferruccio, Lamborghini, or one of the designers. Oh yeah, it's a very, very early one. Beautiful though, that's the thing. Simple, elegant. That's the thing, I always think of these of like 80s, but the fact they were out in 74 just shows the design language and where car design was going. I mean, there were a lot of prototypes of other manufacturers that had this styling at the front as well. But I think that bit has to be the most iconic. That's what I look for on a Lamborghini. Let's carry on. Spend hours with a Countach. I doubt Joseph knows that. Yeah, that's right, Joseph. Look at the elegance. Oh. Hispano Suiza. Part Ward. Forsome Coupe. So, the other one's a Hispano Suiza as well. Spanish Swagger. Indeed. Look at this, craftsmanship, coach built. Suicide doors. And look, there's the calibration on the steering wheel as well. Look at the size of the wheels. Yeah, I'm not surprised. A lot of them have probably returned. Just the level of love that goes into keeping these vehicles looking like this. It's like a full restoration team on hand. Ah, so veteran cars, Joseph. Thank you. fantastic they look very Rolls Royce to be honest big headlamps massive grill I do like this emblem though my word can't tell if it's a goose or a swan or whatever Excuse me, can I just nip through? Thank you. DMC, DeLorean. Doc Brown would be proud. Look at the finish on that as well. I think this is probably the best DeLorean in the world. It just looks absolutely like it's come out of a showroom. DeLorean Motor Company, car mats as well. That was the thing. Didn't look the parts. They were just heavy, though, and they went. Well, they didn't go down the way that they expected. But at the end of the day, <laughs> it's starting Back to the Future. So it's a hell of an accolade. The Gullwing, the 300 SL. Meet the end of that tree. Now. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna look at that because I have no clue what it is. It almost looks TVR-ish. Bristol, the Bristol Fighter. SLS, SLS AMG. It's definitely a Bristol fighter. Whether it's, I can't tell if it's a cigar, so it doesn't really have the bubble roof, but I'd say not Zagato. However, it is a Gullwing.
Yeah, yeah, it needs it. Hmm. Nineteen seventy five Bricklin S V one. Another gull wing. Seems to be an abundance of gull wings this year. Classic mini down there as well. The only place that you would find a mini. Yeah. Very true, Joseph, a Bricklin S V one. And look, the only place you'll find a classic mini next to a twenty twenty Pagani Hira. 760 VR with an abundance of carbon fiber. And look at that for a roof fan. Looks like a shark. So there you go. That's the Cartier collection. Thanks for joining me and we'll carry on our adventures. Thank you.